teach you a very quick and easy way to edit for skin tones. So this is the uh, final product, but I'm actually going to set all these values back to zero so you can see how I got here. Okay, so I had edited this photo to the point that I wanted it, but uh, I was looking at background and kind of everything else, um, but our model was very tan, and so um, I want to correct the orange skin tones, and I'm sure you've seen this happen before as well. So we always want to edit our pictures for skin tones. Uh, to make sure that those are accurate. So I'm going to try to get these as close to how I felt that she looked in person. Uh, and I'm going to do that through my little color window. Okay, so if your color window isn't already selected, it would look like this, but you got to do the drop down. And I work within saturation and luminance. Some people will only work through luminance, which is fine too. Um, you're going to see that I've already toned down my greens all the way. Um, you can see what it looked like before. That's what happens when you shoot in the sun. And actually even in the shade, I don't like the colors of the greens in the summertime. So I always mute those down a, a little. In this case, it was a lot. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to select skin tone. So I, for four years, didn't even know. Actually, this is probably a new update, but um, I learned this trick that there's this little guy over here. This is a what I call a color picker. I don't know if that's its technical term, but it, you're going to pick the color you want to adjust. So I'm going to click on that, and you'll see now it's got these little arrows. So I'm going to come over to the skin, somewhere on her skin. I'm just going to pick her arm right here. I'm going to click. And if you have a Mac, um, you're going to scroll up and down on your mouse. Like, you don't have to move the mouse. You literally just scroll up and down with your finger. If it's a PC, I'm not exactly sure how this works, but I'm sure that you can... Um, figure that out, play around with it. So as I go up, you're going to see that the um, these guys over here are moving. So I can make her super orange, which we obviously don't want. I can also mute her all the way down to black and white, which we don't want. We want to do something that looks natural. So here is the way that was taken. I want to take this down a little bit. And... That's probably good. Um, now I'm going to jump over to Luminance and see. The color picker is still selected, so I don't need to do anything there. I'm going to select again. It's a little difficult because I've got this little highlighter over my mouse, so <laughs> I'm not seeing like the accurate color. Uh, but when you're editing, obviously you don't have this little highlighted cursor like I do for my presentations. So I'm going to take it up a little. So I think I'm liking that. Obviously, this is all your preference. You're the artist. Um, but I just wanted to show you how these functions work. This has been a game changer for me um, in the last, like, I don't know how long, maybe six months or so when I really started applying it. So I hope this was helpful for uh, editing your skin tones. And um, if you have any other questions or topics you'd like me to cover, uh, please uh, comment below, DM me, photographers built into me when I was getting started and I had no clue, no clue whatsoever what I was doing. I knew how to, uh, compo well, I, I was good at composition, but I had no clue what I was doing on the camera. So, or in Lightroom or in Photoshop. So um, please, please, please reach out, tell me topics you'd like me to cover and I can do that for you. So have a great day.